in rotation. Coming down to the south boat, that coastal line, I think it's a little bit harder. And considering that if they are going to be late, they are going to be far from entering into zone. It's, of course, going to be natural. But you're going to have to fight your way in because all of these teams are already in those locations. And unfortunately, Uncle, we just took that position away for triple seven. But we're still looking for that fight. And Brait on his own will be Uncle St. Roach tapping down UV. But now, already going to be one down, but also Uncles. They are one down too. Also, Triple taking through Team Savage in the backdrop of that kill feed. And a revive, more importantly, comes through onto Sauron. But Saint looks to be cooking another one. Will it be on target again? I think it's worrying the way that Triple Seven is playing that one. If they really take that aggression upon the knot, the uncles can get so much done because like Triple Seven is not really in place to protect their teammates. The support's extremely far. Boss need to come in, although they're still going to hold this one. Boss trying to get those angle, not easy to uh, make to deliver though, especially if he is C. They decide to push, and I think they could find that angle where Powerboy Ooh. can't take that fight, and neither can really uncles because that angle where they can't help. Saint and neither El Chapo Uncle's gonna be wide triple seven. They just outplay them when it comes to Uncle's missing out on their own positioning. Yeah, and Boss is just from that watchtower allowing that crossfire and will continue to hold that spot. Like this one is going to want to take out Cyrax and make them feel like they can no longer hold onto that spot. And they hot drop on them on Impala. Like this is personal, right? Like this have never happened in this tournament. Cyrax always got Impala to themselves. So Uncle, so it could be a massive upset. I mean, Cyrax, if they fall here, they haven't had a good day so far again. And this could be a really big dent to their overall. What was even their lead starting in today? Cyrax, as the Uncles do enter into the compound, they smash down one. Break does get knocked. And El Chapo, so far away on the wrong end, really, of his building, trying to dive on into. I think it is a little bit harder. Of course, he is now also a second drop. And they're not really playing to the positional strength for the entirety of their team and Saint because they go in on that same angle is able to actually take so much away potentially from Cyrus but still again cannot find the a the knocks it is required to Prince Cable stepping mm. up and as we said more importantly hype as well on the opposite end they also had to overlook and that's what made it so hard for the uncles now already down to one player now Chapo God. they know he's there there's no real escaping Cyrax they defend I think the key is to get this extra kill and to make sure that you don't lose anyone, right? Because, like, they are trying, they make the run for it. They try desperately to get back into the zone. You can see only bandages remaining. Team Savage, though, they're trying to take the kills. They're trying to be aggressive. They take away Born for Victory. Cyrax, so take down the rest of Team Savage. They take another one. Scythe onto UV. Born for Victory drops. So do Gaijin on the top side of the map but not before Team Savage. It looked like they might even be next. Is Cyrax already up to eight kills? Spill joining the dead. Man, that is the rise of this team. And we've been waiting a bit too long now. And they start a great chance. But it's not just them. The biggest wins in this tournament is also shared by Sar Triple Seven. They got 19 last time around. It can still be possible that well, they got a decent split. The Londa got into position to cause severe disruption. Cyrax, they're continuing to push, so they are being patient because look at how the zone has gone, Tarzan. They can't push further. They can't go in into the flat because if you go to there, you will just get wiped. But look at also the solos who have made it in so far. Triple Sports Club, 1802, Tarzan. Both of these teams, they were a solo for the last three phases. They outlived everyone with his help of the zone shifting towards him. And they're at least going to pick up six and eight points. You can see. Hand shooting action now. I mean, weirdly, in this game, if you just shoot all shots on the hand, you can still kill someone. Prince wants to get the entry, will not be able to do that easily. Those solos can also cause so much damage. It's actually going to be cute taking that one. Q takes another position, but not before Triple Sports Club fall down. Before them, Spill, of course, in and now fifth 
is the rest of Team 1802. They are trying their best, but unfortunately only going to potentially be uh, the next dropping of Cyrax instead. Potentially 1802 take another game. Placement here is now already is trying to survive in the blue, is so low. Do they even have the healing available to them? Does Hype have enough to outlive? Because Shadow as well, desperately trying to get over to Rupo. It will be 1802 who drops next. It will be a great performance from the best they could master. Is Londa stepping over the hill, looks for his 1v2 moment. Finally fight it, he takes down one. Can he get two? Yes, he does. And he takes it on the edge of the blue. Maybe a 1v3 as he now searches for Hype. Trying to turn his back to hype though. And now potentially Londa could get shut down. But K Cyrax really realistically step up here. Hype is the only one remaining. And here also come the hunting squad of Triple Seven. They are like dogs. Here is they scout out and they sniff out hype and they blow him up. Man, like I thought that car should have been blown up so long ago, but it's so important for both these squads to take this one. Triple seven. Back to the Miramar game. I mean, that circle is just so hard to... Those leaderboard, we have TSC Legends still leading the charts. Like, after all, they've been getting into somewhat those end game, and that really mattered. TSC Legends, they are on top, though, Tarzan. It's not a strong lead, though. It's only going to be...